Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So for any of you that are new around here, um, I just want to kind of explain a little bit about what these videos are for. Um, I do a what I wore last week video every week because it's kind of my way of keeping up on all of the perfumes that I've been testing, things that I've hauled or showed on my channel that um, I need to do a follow-up with and so I find it and I usually as I purchase things or have things sent to me, I usually start testing and wearing things immediately so it's just an easy way for me to keep up with um, updating on the perfumes that I have been wearing and testing. Um, so I do have quite a few new people here and I just wanted to um, kind of give a little bit of an explanation about what these videos are for. But anyways, with all that being said, I'm gonna jump right in. I got on an oil kick this week. I just was, it was one of those weeks where I really just wanted to wear a lot of oils. So I wore this one here. This is an oil perfumery oil. I have ordered from Oil Perfumery myself before. I've got some beautiful fragrances from Oil Perfumery. This one was sent over to me um, from a subscriber, and this one is Ombre Sultan from Serge Latans. This is an incredible amber fragrance. I will say this, this one leans a little bit masculine. It's kind of like a rich, woody, musky, slightly sweet. I almost get a little touch of like maybe almost like a maple, like a touch of maple. I don't believe it's got maple in it, but there's something about it that smells like maple to me. It's so warm and beautiful. I wore this one to bed and I absolutely love this and I could still smell it when I woke up the next morning. It's just incredible. It lasts so long. It's such an amazing scent. I love it. It's I love an amber, even though it does lean a little bit masculine, I don't even care. I love an amber, I love a warm, sweet, musty amber. This one is quite unique because of that kind of maple feeling that I get. It's gorgeous. Um, and I will say, Oil Perfumery, their roller balls are the best oil roller balls on the market, hands down. The best. They are the most consistent, they apply amazingly well. Um, they've got this really nice thick like black plastic that kind of encases the stainless steel roller ball. And the roller balls just glide across your skin. They apply the oil really evenly. I've never had an oil perfumery roller ball not be just as smooth as butter. In, in application. They're amazing. They make the best roller balls out there. They're so good. So anyways, yeah, that is the first one. That is Oil Perfumery Ombre Sultan from Serge Luton's is so yummy. Okay, next I wore a couple of my Kumba Made oils. So the first one, I keep this one out because I wear it so often. This is Kumba Made Vanilla Musk. I absolutely adore this fragrance. So I also have Kumba Made Vanilla Bean, which is just kind of like a plain vanilla scented oil, which I adore. This one, this Vanilla Musk, I think it's their Vanilla Bean Oil mixed with Egyptian Musk. And you get this kind of slightly sweet, a little bit creamy, clean Egyptian Musk scent. And it is gorgeous. So you'll, you'll smell the vanilla for maybe, I don't know, like 45 minutes or so. And then eventually the vanilla will kind of fade away and you'll just end up with the clean kind of Egyptian musk scent. But I love it. It smells so good. And the vanilla scent kind of fades away, but a little bit of the creaminess is left behind. So it's kind of like a clean Egyptian musk scent, but with a touch of creaminess to it. It's gorgeous. I love this scent. The longer that I've had this one, the more it's kind of deepened up too. Um, vanilla is, that's one of the reasons why I love vanilla so much because vanilla changes, it becomes richer, it deepens up, um, it darkens. I just love 
a vanilla. I love it. I love how they transform and this one has definitely transformed and become just so beautiful. I love this one. So for being a kind of a vanilla musk fragrance, you can get a good six, eight hours out of this and the musk portion of it will hang around until you wash it off. Um, it'll turn into a skin scent, but you'll be able to smell it until you wash it off. I love it. And they're always running a sale. So I always wait for Kuma Made to have a sale. I always get the smallest oil, which this is an eighth of an ounce is 3.7 milliliter, which is plenty of oil. And you can get this small size for around $8 if you wait for like a 20% or a 25% off sale, which is what I always do. I eventually want to have every single Kumba Made oil in my collection because I just really enjoy their oils. So anyways, that is Kumba Made Vanilla Musk. And then the second one I wore is the Kumba Made Egyptian Musk. So this one, I just picked this up um, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, warm, skin-like, slightly sweet, very, very slightly powdery skin musk. It's clean, it's perfect for just getting out of the shower. Next time I order from Kuma Maid, I really wanna pick up the Egyptian Musk body lotion uh, to layer all of my musk scents over. I do, however, have the Riddle Oils. Um, I've got their, the original scented body oil as well as the spray lotion in the original scent which is kind of like this really beautiful white musk scent so i feel like i need to go through those before i pick up another musk scented body lotion but eventually i'm going to so anyways that is egyptian musk from kumba made this lasts a really long time too again turns into a skin scent wears very close but you will be able to smell it until you wash it off so yeah, Kumba Made Egyptian Musk. And then the last oil that I wore is this one here. This is Estero, it smells like bang. So I'm super excited to say that all of her oils and I believe all of her perfumes are back in stock on her website right now. I've got a cart going because I'm gonna order she came out with a new oil, which I'm dying to get my nose on. Um, so I've got a cart going with three. And in fact, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and check out and, and get those on their way as soon as I'm done here. But um, I need Country Living, That Girl, and then the new one that she came out with. And she's doing bundles of two, three, and I believe six. So really awesome. But anyways, Smells Like Bang, if you look on the website, it is described as being the lightest cotton candy scent ever, and it is. It's like a grown-up cotton candy scent. It's amazing. It's cotton candy without being too sickly, without being like too sweet. It's amazing. It smells incredible on the skin. It makes a great base for anything but I just wore it by itself because I love the way it smells just on its own. Such an amazing scent. All of her oils, they're probably my favorite oils in my collection, my sterile oils. Um, I could live without all of the rest of my oils. I could not live without my sterile oils. Um, she, in my opinion, she makes the best oils on the market. They're the longest lasting, the strongest. When I first got them, I felt like they wore really close to the skin, but I just had to let, they just needed to sit for a little bit. I think it, it was maybe after like three months that I realized I was like, oh my gosh, these are way stronger than I had even thought when I first got them. But yeah, I love this one. I love it on its own. I think I'd had this on for maybe about six hours when I, decided to go in with my Ashley, uh, my Alyssa Ashley vanilla perfume. This is kind of in my project pan again this year. So I'm not like pushing myself to use it all up, but I'm kind of working towards using it all up this year. The only reason I am is because I've got a huge, I've got a huge bottle of this other vanilla perfume that I picked up off of Mercari a long time ago and I really need to start working on that one. But I wanna go ahead and finish this one first before I start working on that one. So yeah, I adore this scent. It's almost one of those kind of cotton candy vanilla scents. If you've ever smelled Outremer Vanille, it's very similar. Um, it's just this kind of yummy, sweet, cotton candy-ish vanilla scent. And 
I love it. It was perfect to layer over Smells Like Bang. Um, I didn't need to layer the two, but again, I'm just, I'm, tr I'm kind of trying to work through this, so I, I just went ahead and layered it over that. The Alyssa Ashley Vanilla does not last any time at all. It's, I can get, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes out of this or something before it wears off. Um, and then I was just back to my Estero Smells Like Bang. So anyways, that is Alyssa Ashley Vanilla. And then last but not least, I wore my new JLo My Glow fragrance. Um, I love this. It's another, this is another slightly sweet, a little bit floral, really clean, easy to reach for, like easy out of the shower, clean perfume. I really love this one. Um, I don't really get the lavender in this. I more get like a clean, slightly sweet, soapy floral, but I love it. Either way, I really love it. Um, I did have to reapply this. So I put this one on when I got out of the shower and then I think I was, I was at home for maybe two or three hours after I got out of the shower and you know, I just wore it. However, I did have to reapply this before I left the house and it was gone maybe, I don't know, I really couldn't smell it anymore, maybe three or four hours later. So I did reapply it twice, or so I did reapply it once and I wanna say it wore off maybe after about four hours. So it's not the worst by any means, not the best. You're definitely, you're definitely not gonna get, you know, eight plus hours out of this. You're definitely gonna have to reapply it after a few hours. Um, but I don't mind, especially if I'm just hanging around the house, I don't mind at all. It's really, really beautiful. If you like kind of a soapy, clean, slightly sweet floral, I think you would really like this one. So anyways, that is Jennifer Lopez, My Glow. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I did wear, um, there were a couple that I wore that were just like samples that I wore to bed, but I forgot to put them with this pile, which I always have like a separate, pile of fragrances that I, you know, that I set aside for this video every week and I forgot to put those samples in there and I could not for the life of me remember which ones they were. So I was like, oh well, it'll be okay. Maybe if, if I remember, if I remember at some point this week, I'll add them to next week's. But anyways, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.